In this video, we're going to talk about ionization energy. We will talk about what it is and how we can predict the ionization energy of an element based on a periodic trend. So let's start with what is ionization energy. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from a gaseous atom or ion. Now we're not just talking about the atoms that are gases at room temperature, but this is for all elements on the periodic table. We just have to turn the element into a gas first before we can move the electron. This is kind of a general equation of what's going to be happening here. We have an element, and x could represent any element on the periodic table. And we have an energy required to remove that electron, and so this is what we'd end up on the other side. Now we could mo remove more than one electron, we just have to remove each electron one at a time. A low ionization energy means it's easy to remove an electron, and a high ionization energy means it's difficult to remove the electron. The basic trend is this. Metals have a low ionization energy, whereas nonmetals have a high ionization energy. On the periodic table, it's going to look something like this where ionization energy is going to increase from left to right on the periodic table, and it'll increase from the uh, bottom to the top on the periodic table, just like this. And so the lowest ionization energy will be francium, and the highest ionization energy will be helium. Okay, so that's the trend, but let's get back to this idea of removing more than one electron from an atom. The first time we remove an electron, it's called the first ionization energy. And this equation at the top here is an example of what that would look like. We can then take this ion and remove another electron from it. And this would be called the second uh, ionization energy, or since we're removing another electron. And we could continue on through this process. Now, each time we remove an electron, it's going to become more difficult to remove another electron. It's kind of like this idea here. If I came up to you and asked you for a dollar, and you gave it to me, and then I came back 10 minutes later and asked you for another, and then 10 minutes later and asked for another, wouldn't it get harder and harder to give me a dollar each time? That's kind of like what it's like for atoms giving up their electrons. And that's ionization energy.